Hello students, welcome back to the next session. Today we shall be talking about continuous integration using Jenkins. Along with that I will also tell you how to install Jenkins in your local system. So let us start with understanding what exactly do we mean by Jenkins. So Jenkins is basically a CI CD tool which will automatically build, test and deploy the project. CI CD in the sense continuous integration and continuous delivery. Okay, so why should we have this CI CD tool which is called as Jenkins? What is the benefit of it? The first benefit is it will reduce the time of the developers. Okay, since it is automatically building the project, testing it and deploying it, we are reducing the time span of the developers. Not only that, your Jenkins will also help to uh, track the errors in a very quick way whenever any change is made by the developer. Okay, so it is easy tracking of the errors as well as it is reducing the time of the developers also. For this reason, we need to use this Jenkins tool. Okay, so now let us talk about one important concept in Jenkins which is called as plugins. So plugins play a very important role in Jenkins. They are like add-ons which will help Jenkins to do extra things. Like for example, your it helps your Jenkins uh, tool to get integrated with GitHub or Maven okay, or the cloud services like you know EC2 instance, Amazon cloud and all. So in order to have that collaboration or integration, these plugins will play a very important role. Not only that, if you want to have a graphical representation of how this automatic building, testing and deployment is happening, that, that also can be done using this extra plugins where it will show you a pipeline. Uh, uh, graphical representation as to how this automation is happening inside your Jenkins. So that is the reason your plugins are very important inside Jenkins. Now how to install this plugins? It's very easy. Jenkins is basically a GUI. Okay, it's a user interface. You will be having an option called as manage plugins. You need to se select that option in search bar. Whichever plugin you want, you can select for that particular plugin, download and use that particular plugin. So its installation is very easy. Okay, and most popularly used plugins in Jenkins are Git plugin, Pipeline plugin, Slack plugin. Among these three famous, we will be working with Git as well as Pipeline plugins in our lab experiments. Okay, so now let us talk about what are the various main features of Jenkins, right? The first one you have is automation. So I told you it will automatically build, test your particular project. So automation is one of the major feature of your Jenkins. The second one you have is integration. So your Jenkins can easily collaborate with outside tools like GitHub, uh, you know, the Maven and all. So integration also is one of the feature. The third feature you have is plugin. So I told you it gives you add-on features along with the normal UI that you have in Jenkins with the help of plugins. So plugin is also one of the feature. The next one you have is distributed builds. So it not only allows a single person working on the project, but it allows different developers working on different environments to club together and use a single Jenkins architecture. Okay, so that is called as distributed builds. The next one you have is customizable. So Jenkins will come with inbuilt plugins. Not only that, it allows your developers to add their own plugins also. Okay. The next one you have is monitoring and reporting. So your Jenkins has a very beautiful feature of identifying errors and immediately passing that message via email to the developer. Okay. So it monitors as well as it reports that particular error also to that particular developer. The next one you have is pipeline support. So as I told you, it gives you a graphical representation as to how this automation is happening with the help of pipelines. So these are the main features that you have in Jenkins, right? So now let us understand about uh, continuous integration. So I told you in the definition of Jenkins that Jenkins is a CI CD tool, continuous integration and continuous delivery tool. So what do you mean by continuous integration? Continuous integration is whenever any developer will perform any change in the project, your Jenkins will get automatically triggered. It will take that new updated code from GitHub, okay, it will build it, it will automatically test it, okay, that is called as continuous integration. So by doing this, what is happening, what is the advantage? It is reducing the time of the developer and with each new change, you can easily identify what is the error that you are getting, whether everything is getting fine or not, okay, that is called as continuous integration, right. Now let us talk about what do you mean by continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is nothing but 
when your continuous integration is building and testing your particular product, your output, your project, okay, the output file can be deployed directly to whichever environment you want. You want to deploy it into the cloud, it will deploy. You want it to deploy it into the Tomcat server, it will deploy. Wherever you want, it will deploy in that production server automatically. That is called as continuous delivery, okay. So, by this what is the basic advantage of ha having continuous delivery? You can quickly have the releases okay, and uh, where, whenever there is any problem also you can e easily identify. Now let us talk about the Jenkins architecture, it is very important. Jenkins basically uses a concept of master and slave architecture as you can see here. Okay? So, whatever the GUI you will be seeing for Jenkins, the server that is called as the master. So, in master inside the GUI we will be giving some tasks to our Jenkins like what to build, what to test, what to deploy, okay. All these tasks will be giving in this GUI which is called as the master. Now, what your master will do? It will segregate its work to slaves. So, slaves are nothing but the part of your Jenkins which are installed in different different environments. So, you can install your Jenkins in Windows, Apple, Linux, anywhere you can install. So, say suppose you, you are giving your master two tasks like for example, build my project and test my project. Okay? So, building can be done in Linux, testing can be done in Windows. So, it can segregate the task so that everything happens simultaneously. So, these individual slaves will perform that particular task and give the report back to your master. Okay, but in our lab, whatever Jenkins we will be installing, that will only be acting as master and slave. But when you work in your companies, you will be having separate master as well as separate slave. Okay, so this is basically the architecture of Jenkins, right? Now let us talk about uh, the next concept which is called as the uh, continuous integration flow diagram of Jenkins or it is also called as the Jenkins workflow. So, how exactly this Jenkins will actually work? So, what will happen? Your developers will be developing the project in different different environments. Finally, they will push your particular code into GitHub. So, when your GitHub is updated with new changes of your project, immediately your Jenkins will get triggered. It will take that new, new updated software from the Git repository. It will test it and it will build it automatically it will deploy to whichever production server you want. Okay? This is called as the Jenkins workflow. Okay? Everything happens automatically. So, in our lab we will be talking about how this automatic triggering is happening, how is it taking the code from the GitHub, how is it building it, how is it testing it and how is it deploying it into a production server. Everything we will do it in our lab. Okay? Now, let us talk about some of the advantages of Jenkins. The first advantage you have is free. So, Jenkins software is absolutely free. The second one you have is it is easy to set up. Okay? So, it, since it is a GUI environment, you can easily set up. Next is customizable. So, whichever plugins you want, you can download. Whichever you do not want, you need not download. Cross platform. So, it works with GitHub, it works with Maven. So, it, it is cross platform and cloud friendly. You can directly deploy your product to the cloud environment also. So, these are some of the advantages. Let us talk about few of the disadvantages. The first one you have is it is an outdated software. Okay, so, once you look into the GUI of the Jenkins, you will understand it is outdated. Okay, the second one you have is it requires certain technical knowledge also. So, if you want to understand the GUI of Jenkins and give it some work, you have to have some technical knowledge of it. The next one you have is it is fragile configuration. So, there are a lot of configurations that you have to do in your Jenkins software. Even if you are missing one of the configuration also, your Jenkins will not work properly. Okay? So, these are some of the drawbacks. Now, let us understand how to install Jenkins into our local system. Right? So, let us talk about the first one. First, you have to go to the official website of your Jenkins. Right? After going, you have to search for whichever oper operating system you want. Say, suppose it is Windows. Then you have to scroll down. When you scroll down, you will have these stable uh, LTS uh, software, you have to download that particular software and you have to directly install it. So, once uh, you download, when you double click, the GUI will open for installation. So, you have to click on next. Okay? By default, it will take the C drive, let it be like that only. right? Then uh, this also you have to put it the default option only. 
run on local uh, system okay then uh, you have to scroll back and it will automatically take the port number 8080 okay here you will be having an option called as test port click on the test port check whether 8080 is working if it is if you are getting green tick mark then everything is fine otherwise use some other port number okay other than the port number that you have used for your tomcat server right now when you click on next it will automatically take the jdk path okay so your uh, uh, jenkins will either accept jdk 11 17 or 21 apart from these three if it is taking anything else then click on change and you have to change the path of it otherwise you you put the default like that only okay now click on just next next and all your installation will happen once the installation will happen in your browser in 8080 port number your jenkins will unlock like this so first what you have to do is you have to copy the administrative password and paste it here so you will have a path here which will be shown where you are having your administration password you have to go to this path in your local file explorer okay then you you will get this particular file copy this content and after that paste it here right after pasting it will ask you for change of your password please do remember the password you have to keep a very simple password for jenkins because once you forget you cannot retrieve back okay then it will ask you to install suggested plugins click on that suggested plugin so by default whatever plugins are there everything will get installed please do remember that your internet connection is stable only then all these plugins will get installed otherwise you have to manually search for them and install so make sure that all these default plugins are getting installed okay so once installation is completed now your jenkins is ready the next thing you have to do is to log in into your jenkins okay with new username and password and in this particular dashboard you are seeing you have to click for manage jenkins so inside manage jenkins you will be having option called as configuration system and global tool configuration if you are not finding this global tool configuration inside this configuration system only whatever i am talking about will be there okay it depends upon different types of guis for your jenkins okay now inside that click on manage jenkins and you should make sure that you are installing manually these plugins maven integration plugin build pipeline pipeline utility copy artifacts deploy to container these five different types of plugins must be manually searched in the search bar here and you have to download and install it into jenkins you please make sure of it okay the next one is again you have to go to the manage jenkins here and under, uh, under global tool configuration you have to set path for your jdk okay the same path that you have set in your environmental variables in your local system so you have to give the name jdk underscore home and you have to say add jdk and give the jdk then you have to install maven also okay the same maven path that you gave in your environmental variables okay so this ppt will be shared by your respective faculty make sure you're following each and every step and you are installing jdk maven okay you're configuring it correctly and all the pipe plugins are also getting installed so this is how you are ready for your uh, jenkins tool uh, in the next class we will talk about the lab exercises thank you